In this video, I will be taking my Tracy McGrady build from 60 overall to 99 overall in just one video. Now, as you see, I'm on the build selection, and I want to tell y'all why I picked this Tracy McGrady NBA template build. Okay, so let's get right onto this build. Let's see the stats right here. As you see, he's shooting guard, six foot eight. 210 pounds with a 7-2 wingspin and y'all know I love my 6 foot 8 builds they are so broken but just look at the stats that he gets he's a close shot of a 68 a driving layup of an 85 a driving dunk of a 94 and a standing dunk of a 73 this is actually a really good build it gets standing dunk animations we get fast twitch bronze rise up bronze we get a driving dunk of a 94 bro if y'all don't know 94 driving dunk is the perfect threshold you get gold posterizer gold precision dunker you can literally get contact dunks on everything bro anyone standing under the rim we're gonna be getting a body every single time trust me under shooting we have an 84 mid-range and an 82 three-pointer that is perfect bro we get all the good badges and we get trace mcgrady base by default okay so we have trace mcgrady's base already equipped because if y'all do not know once you pick an nba template you get all of their animations so we already have trace mcgrady equipped so we are literally gonna make every shot pass accuracy of a 77 ball handle 85 so we can speed boost speed ball of 75 we are gonna be the fastest but it will be okay perimeter defense of a 75 our steals a 60 we get bronze interceptor that is very good and now into our physicals 81 speed 75 excel 63 strike 85 vertical we're gonna jump out of the stadium with a 99 stamina and you see that is the build complete this build is actually a really good build i'm not gonna lie this is kind of like my six foot eight demigod ones build so i'm actually really hyped to get this build a 99 overall because it is actually a fire build okay and you see right here in the top right i literally have zero vc i just made this account so first off what we're gonna do we're gonna go play the daily pick em, okay before we get into the career mode before we get into anything we're gonna pick the game so let's see who's gonna win some games okay so first off yeah the magic i think the magic are gonna win the pistons obviously are not gonna win a game i got the nets the 76ers and give me luke and the mavericks 100 vc if we get all of those hopefully we get them all right so i'll check back in tomorrow and now i saw that the race of the week is giving out 2500 vc so we're just trying to make as much vc as possible before we start our career journey okay so first off we have to beat this i have to beat this in 47 seconds let's see if i can do this and a lot of people bro these are actually kind of hard i'm not gonna laugh y'all played the race of the week y'all know these are actually low-key kind of tough kind of impossible to beat but let's see if we can make it. Let's see. Hopefully this week is an easy one. I see I still have 30 seconds left. And I'm not going to lie. This is bad confusing because I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of dyslexic, bro. I don't know, really know where I'm trying to go. I'm not going to lie. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. But we're going to make it work, okay? As you see, I'm almost halfway there. We're going We're going steady. I'm not going to lie. Like, I think that we're actually doing good. Hopefully we can make this. You see checkpoint five. There's two checkpoints left. One checkpoint left after this. Here is the finish line almost. We got one more checkpoint. I used to we have 10 seconds to complete it, hopefully. And oh, we, we're going to complete this easily, bro. That's an easy 2,500. Yes, sir. 43 seconds. We have so much time to spare. So that's an easy 2,500 VC. Our first VC is from the race of the week. So let's go. But second off, let's get right into my career, bro. I'm not going to lie. We have to get right into my career because people, bro, a lot of people listening, a lot of people watch this video right now. People do 60 overall to 99 overalls. No, my career, all of that. But I am not like them, bro, because those people right there, I'm telling you right now, those people play with the best of the best players. I am literally going to do this realistically. I'm going to be playing with randoms. I'm not going to play with anyone I know. Okay, I'm not going to play with anyone I know. Bro. I'm not even joking. I'm not picking up any supporters. I'm literally just going to go to the randoms court, the ones court, the random wreck the whole time so it is a realistic walkthrough and a lot of people a lot of the other youtubers they are picking up the best of the best players so that is how they can complete the 60 to 99 overall with no my career but you see we need my career bro i'm a 60 overall and i am slaying in my career i'm not gonna lie if y'all do want to know i am playing on rookie difficulty five minute quarters i feel like that is the most efficient i've played my career a lot to grind vc over the past couple years and especially in 2k24 i've grinded so many builds in my career so personally i feel like this is the most efficient way okay rookie five minutes make sure you're on rookie five minutes and then you will i'm not gonna lie it's not that hard to get vc i'm getting like 800 vc a game it's actually a really good method but it just takes a little bit okay but you see over here first ever game i broke the three-point record wow yes my first ever game i literally broke the three-point record bro a 60 overall just broke the mba three-point record as you trace mcgrady 15 three-pointers made in the game yes a 60 overall i'm not gonna lie i'm him bro i'm like that but you see we get a fast break steal give me that that's an easy two points and i'm not gonna lie i'm actually cooking up bro i'm not gonna lie this rookie my career stuff is actually really easy bro is he give me that and one and let me show you one more clip bro that shot was crazy i'm not gonna lie. i don't know how i made that but yeah as you see i'm getting like 10k my points a game and i'm also getting like 800 700 vc a game i see we get 863 vc and once again only play your key games because they give you an extra like 150 vc so make sure you're only playing your key games second game i got 846 
Nice. Third game, 8-1-9, bro. I'm getting so much VC, and I think I played a total of probably 15, 16 my career games. All I want to do is play my career until I can upgrade by max midrange and a max three-pointer so I can spot up in the random rack and random park. So as you're here, I have enough VC to upgrade my midrange and three-pointer, so that is exactly what I'm going to do first. It is day two started. I seen that I have to do my Chris Brickley and my art of shooting gym challenges. Okay, so first off, let's go right over to Chris Brickley's gym and let's do this scrimmage. I think we're starting off with a 3v3 scrimmage. And if I complete this, I will get 750 VC. So that'll be very good to help me upgrade my player. Now you see this scrimmage was, I'm not gonna lie, starting off bad. I was missing my shots, but luckily I got my rhythm and I started making my shots. And one thing I noticed is that I need a new jump shot. I need to equip a Tracy McGrady custom jump shot because it's just flat out Tracy McGrady. This jump shot is not going to cut it later on in the park. I realize that. So after this drill is complete, I will go ahead and put on custom jump shot. But as you see, I'm making all these shots and I'm not going to lie. I started to pick up a rhythm. Now you see, bang, green light. I started to pick up a rhythm and I was actually draining every single three pointer. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, so this is an easy 750 VC. Now you see, I'm getting a little dunk on him. Hey, a little dunk. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This build is kind of crazy, bro. It is kind of crazy. You see, I get 5,000 of my points and I realized I needed a new jump shot. So here we go. Trace McGrady, Sadiq Bay, and Lamel. Hello ball this is my new jump shot and what better place to test it out than the art of shooting gym so let's go right over to the art of shooting gym let's test this jump shot out and as you see i'm gonna speed this drill up crazy because this drill takes forever i have to make 20 shots in a row basically okay to get three stars 20 shots but you see three shots completed and i also added two lethal zones to my bag so i knew i have two lethal zones to my bag but now we are on to the sunset park to do the daily challenger and this also gives me another 750 vc so that will basically be 3000 vc in like 10 minutes not even so hopefully we can get this by quick hopefully i don't lose the first game because i know this game be hoeing me sometimes and i can't win it but as you see we get 435 vc right there on top of the 750 vc we will upgrade we are upgrading my guy i'm upgrading my ball handle and i also realize that i need some stamina because playing without stamina is damn near impossible bro yeah as you see now we are on to predicting the nba games let's predict some nba games again this is an easy way to earn a couple extra hundred vc a day so yeah i think the rockets are going to be the thunder i think that the pelicans are going to be the pacers and i also think the mavericks are going to win with luka Doncic. many months later and after waiting and waiting and waiting i finally found a partner to run twos with yes i was inviting everyone to my park it took me about 20 25 minutes to find someone but luckily this guy right here he looks like a come up to me well so do i what can i say but he actually shoots really good for the field he averages 10 points a game shoots 70 percent for the field that is actually really good so hopefully this guy's a secret demigod we'll have to see as you see we are playing by 2k15 scoring rules so it will go by ones and twos and i'm gonna change my camera angle man i see that is proof that i have literally never played a park game because my camera angle is literally all messed up i haven't changed this from the start but you see these guys are trying to get some easy baskets no he's not dunk meter on me bro not when i'm under the pain you know me i'm a big body down there but you see this man i'm not gonna lie he's gonna rim run bro why are they rim running stop trying to rim run on me man there's no fun but look i got a post score on my team so this might actually be a good way to get carried i'm not gonna lie this might be a good way to get carried let's see let me pull up real quick first shot bang oh my god i'm green on my first shot that is absolutely crazy bro i didn't even think i had it in me but oh my god this man is a demon i'm not gonna lie this man is actually really crazy and i don't know why i pulled that man i don't know why i pulled that i don't know who i think i am i really do not know who i think i am because i actually do not know my jump shot why i thought i could green that i don't know i really don't know you see my center is selling me oh my god i'm getting sold and luckily these guys are trash bro these guys actually cannot make a shot but guess what neither can i neither can i make a shot I guess it was hot zones didn't work. I guess those lethal zones really didn't work for me, bro. I'm gonna just give it to my post score. Let him rock out. This man, boss man. Hey, the man, boss man. Loki, he's got the burner, bro. And he also has takeover. So you know we're not losing this game no more. We're not losing this game. Let me just keep feeding them, bro. Let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get my assist up. I'm gonna get my assist up. You know, all I need is a good teammate grade. If I get a good teammate grade, I'll hopefully get a lot of BC because I know it goes off a of teammate grade too. But you see, they're really leaving me open, bro. Stop leaving me open, bro. That's a green light. You know, I got the burner on me. I may be a 66 overall, but I can still shoot the ball, bro. I can still shoot the ball. Come on, stop playing with me, bro. But you see, we get the ball. I'm going to steal once again. They got the ball back off of a fluke. I'm not even going to show it, bro, because the game got to be tight, bro. I'm not even going to show it because I don't want to get mad reviewing this, bro. But you see, they're trying to get a steal, bro. Stop spamming me. Stop spamming my teammate, bro. Y'all leave me wide open in the corner for a game. That's a bang, bro. Someone leave me open in the corner. Don't ever leave Aqua 2K20 open in the corner, bro. You want to know why? Because I'm greening every single shot. 
for you see game number two 2k15 score rules we are playing some straight sweats again bro i'm not gonna lie when i go to the theater it is just straight sweats when i see other people go to the theater it just straight come up to me ronnie please explain why i get all of these sweats when i go to the theater but there's people out here who get literally the worst of the worst players and all i play against bro all i play against is straight sweats bro at least make it match making at least like let the overalls balance out bro like this is crazy i'm playing back to back like 96s 95s you see first shot let me pull up man i cannot make a single shot man this is kind of depressing bro i really have to lie about my jump shot okay i have to play some more online modes i if i could play the ones court i could really lie about my jump shot crazy and i would never miss again but you know i'm stuck playing the twos because if i bring this build to the ones I'm gonna lose every game but maybe you know maybe tomorrow if i'm feeling lucky i'll try a ones game out see how sweaty the people are i just don't want to you know get 20 minutes on the ones court because that would be a terrible look for me terrible look for the ones court king on 2k24 but as you see i'm pulling up bang bro and i can actually i can green some of my shots okay i might not shoot at a high percentage i see i'm shooting 33 percent but i can at least green some of them bro i know that's better than most players on this game shoot 33 percent i know that's much better than most players you see they're getting a lucky block let me give it back right back to my teammate bro let me get right back to the teammate let's let him work and you see i do got takeover in the top right but i didn't notice i didn't notice i had takeover man so yeah i just gotta let my teammate work hopefully he hits me back i'm pulling that in the corner that's a tray ball fall bro tray ball fall you know how we going and you see i still did not know why i take over man i don't know what i was doing but my teammate oh my god i've never seen a post score get this many bodies bro this many contact dunks this man is absolutely crazy bro and luckily he's carrying me to victory bro he's carrying me to victory he has take over once again there's no way you were stopping this i'm telling you right now if i was on my main ones build i was not stopping this i've never seen a post score do this maybe it's just because i haven't played with a post score in like my 2k career but I've never seen a post score play like this, bro. This man is straight bodying everyone, bro. Every single person he sees, he is bodying them. This is actually crazy. This man has to have a 99 post control, 99 standing dunk. Like, look at the animations he's getting. This is absolutely crazy, bro. I've never seen nothing like this. But yeah, you see, the score is 14 to 9. One more point, and we win this game. One more point. All we need is one more point. Y'all already know what I'm doing. I'm getting right to my post score. We're ending this game right now. End this game right now. And you see, I do have some extra VC in the top right. 1700 VC. Let me upgrade my drop and dunk, bro. Because only with, us, with like a 65 drop and dunk, I can't really do much. All I can do is shoot spot up at the three. So let me upgrade my drop and dunk, and hopefully I can start driving to the rim. But you see, we're playing a yellow and a purple. We're playing a yellow and a purple. We're playing a GOAT overall status, whatever it's called. I'm not going to lie. MVP. I'm not sure what it's called this year. We are playing two sweats, okay? Two sweats against the 66 overall demons, bro. The 66 overall demons. And as you see, this might be bad this might be bad because they have a center and he knows how to clamp my center that is all i'm saying yeah hit me back hit me back okay okay a little slow but you know i'm pulling that i don't know why i pulled that man but my center good thing he has positioning but the ball just goes right through his hands bro right through his hands come on bro how does that even happen bro how does that happen the ball just literally was in his hands and then it wasn't i'm not really sure i don't think he has his defensive rebound upgraded that is why i think he literally has a 99 post control all that now doesn't have anything else you see let me hit him again hopefully he can start making something happen down there hopefully he can work his magic and then you see damn he just nuts in his face them bro that's a little boy down there yes sir but you see come on let me cook up bro let him, let him cook up i'm gonna give it to him once again i can't carry on a 66 overall i gotta know my place center you got this game bro this game is all you this man is gonna be the star of my videos bro i'm gonna add him right after this video and he is gonna be in my videos from that one bro this might be the star of the video bro but you see come on body him body him oh that's a that's a bad animation that man tried to do a fadeaway i'm not sure why he did that and that man is shooting over me oh my god bro oh my god this might be bad we might be doing bro because this man is shooting over me straight green to my face and if he no way he makes that no way he makes that that's a center bro that's a center thank you bro i was about to say no way he makes that so let me get right to my center give it right back to him bro that's the post score demon yes sir <laughs> that is the post score demon down there there's really no stopping him bro and if that, i'm not gonna lie if this man brought this build to the states you're probably going 100 game streak that build is absolutely crazy i've not seen the stage centers the stage post scores i don't really run into post scores anymore because post scores are absolutely lame you got to be a big version to make a post score in 2024 but shout out to this guy right here this is the only post score i like bro i'm usually post score k but this is the post score that i'm jacking bro. i'm jacking this post score right here because he actually is carrying me to victory but you see i'm getting a little separation off the screen and you already know my body 
I'm creating that. Nine out of ten times, that's a big green. And let him work. Let him work, bro. Let him work. Oh my god, I'm getting sold. Oh my god, just give me the ball. Let me cook, bro. I'm feeling confident with my jump shot. Give me the ball and let me cook, bro. Let me cook. I wish you could hear me. I don't have a game chat because I'm on Xbox, bro. I can't talk through my like PS controller or whatever. I can't talk through my Xbox controller because I don't have that option, bro. Xbox is low key lacking for that. But these guys are getting the ball back once again. And luckily, luckily, these guys cannot shoot. And luckily, my post score. Bro, I'm about to break something, bro. I'm about to race quit, bro. What is happening? This man just went from being the best post score of all time to shooting shots just like this. I'm not sure really what happened, but luckily these guys are getting clamped up. I'm not sure. We luckily, one thing about the 66 overall is that I still have defense. I can still stay in front of people, but just give me the ball back, bro. Just give me the ball back. Let me cook. Come send me a screen again. Oh my God. I literally cannot do nothing. I just got to get them off of me. That's what we have to do. As you say, I just have to get them off of me. Get that guy in the orange off of me so my center can cook. That is the whole objective that I was thinking right here. Get this guy in the orange off of him so my center can cook. You see, I pull up. Bang, bro. Bang. Yes, sir. I'm feeling so confident right now. Y'all don't even know I'm feeling so confident. But look at this. I got takeover. I'm going off the screen. Give it right to my mans right here. And he's going to body him. Yes, sir. That's a big green. Y'all know I body. That's a big green, bro. But you see, once again green light again we need three baskets bro three baskets there's one there's one basket all we need is a three-pointer right now one three-pointer and we win the game it is simple so i'm gonna just give it right to my teammate i'm gonna let him cook all i have to do get the guy in the orange off of him i can't really do that i didn't do it successfully but luckily he has takeover oh my god get off our court bro if y'all are watching this get off our court bro oh my god i'm mad after that game i'm mad after that game bro yeah, see, this is the last game. I'm not going to show the full game, but I'm just show y'all it worked out perfectly. We were cooking these guys up crazy, bro. And I'm not going to lie. When I tell you we play sweats after this game, we play straight sweats. We got 21 owed or we got 15 owed or whatever. Okay, that was a bad game. I don't even want to show that. That is how embarrassing the game was. Okay, the game was so embarrassing. I don't even want to show what happened, bro. Okay, yes, we literally got our butts spanked crazy bro crazy bad i've never lost that bad in 2k history that game had me wanting to delete 2k24 i was about to delete 2k24 but i realized i had to bring a banger video for y'all yeah if y'all do like this type of content and y'all are still rocking with me make sure to go down below subscribe to me i drop daily banger 2k24 videos like i'm telling you i drop banger videos all the 2k24 so if y'all are rocking with me make sure to go down below make sure i give you a boy a subscription yeah as you see i'm gonna write to my center once again these guys are straight scrubs. We're going to beat these guys every single game. And you see, I'm even going to show you the full game. We won that game. And our record ending day two is four and one. And starting off day number three, we are back in the my career. As you see, I've made it all the way to the playoffs. So this is the first round of the playoffs. As you see, I just beat the Cleveland Cavaliers in game seven of the playoffs. So now we're on to round two. And hopefully we get an easy opponent, as you see. We got the Bucks. Yes, we got the Bucks in the playoffs. Hopefully, I can take down Giannis. Hey, you see these shots I'm hitting. I'm hitting some crazy shots on a 60 overall. It really is pretty easy to hit my career on rookie five minutes and make it to the playoffs and win. And if we do win these playoffs, we are going to get so much VC. If we get the finals and win the finals, we are going to get an extra 2,000 VC thanks to our Jordan endorsement deal. And you see, I end up beating the Bucks in game seven. And as you see right here, against the Clippers in the finals. Yes, we played the Clippers in the finals, and then I up taking over. I ended up taking over, hitting some crazy shots once again, and we ended up winning our first ever finals. So now we will have gained 2,000 extra VC for winning finals, and we also get a new salary starting at the start of the year. After I say the offseason, we will get um starting salary, I think it's 850 VC instead of like 650. So we will probably be making an extra 300 VC a game, and that is very crucial. And once again, only play key games on my career. Key games give you an extra 150 VC. And we ended up getting so many my points, so many VC like attribute upgrades. We ended up getting so much VC for playing this. I played basically the whole day just grinding my career because I didn't have anything to do today. So I was just grinding my career. And as you see, now that my career is over, let's go right into the daily pick -em. Let's pick our games. I got the Cavs, Grizzlies, Lakers, Nuggets. I got the Jazz, the Bucks, the Warriors. They're on a huge winning streak right now. And I got the Hawks. So there we go. That is our daily pick -em. And after that, I decided, why not take my talents to the park again? Let's see if I can go to the random threes. And let's see if I get some good teammates that know what they're doing. And let's see if we can streak up, man. Because what's better than streaking up on a 66 overall build, man? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I have so much VC, but I forgot to upgrade before I went into this. So we'll see how this goes. As you see, I'm hitting my first ever shot that I'm taking in the 3v3 no squad. I don't know why, but I always make my first shot. But after that... Oh my god. This is how we're gonna do. I'm about to be playing with the straight worst players in 2k. I already 
bro what am i playing who are these people they're actually trying to sell me they have to they're trying to sell me on purpose there's no way please make that shot please make that shot thank you bro thank you i thought i was getting trolled i'm not gonna lie i thought i was getting trolled because there's no way you're shooting that fadeaway shot in three people's face this bro thinks he is prime whoever does that bro this guy thinks he is prime dirk bro he is not dirk you are not like that kid but yeah it is 13 to 6 and they are hitting a three it's looking bad for us bro it's looking bad for us and trust me it's our teammates fault bro i know i have two turnovers but it's our teammates fault because look i'm carrying our teammates cannot make shots like this okay i'm the only one i'm putting our team on my back and i'm single-handedly carrying them to victory 16 9 we need to stop, bro. We need to stop. And this guy thinks he is easily abusing a 66 overall. You are so good at the game, bro. I hope you're watching this video. You are so good at the game for just cheating a 66 overall all game. I, I condemn you, bro. I condemn you because I can never do that, bro. I would feel like an absolute loser if I did that. I'm not going to lie. But as you see, 1911, they just need a basket to win. And obviously, you know what this guy's going to do. He's going to abuse a 60 overall because he is a loser. He is a loser. You're weird, kid. You're weird. But after that game, I realized... I need to upgrade my player. I see I have 41 KVC, 41 KVC. Yes, that is what happens when you play my career all day. You get a lot of endorsement, finish a lot of challenges. So you see, I will upgrade our bottle and our speed with ball. So now we can get some dribble moves. And I found my boy boss man again. Okay, I linked back on my boy boss man. And we're going to see how this goes. Okay, last night we ended on a bad note. We were ended up getting smacked. But tonight, I'm feeling a win streak, bro. Let's go on a quick little win streak. Let's see if this man can cook up. I see boss man. Cook up, bro. Cook up boss man bro he's selling me again oh my there we go there we go that's the boss man i know the boss man i know is just the guy that's getting contact dunks on people body people in the paint but you see i can shoot now bro why do you leave me open stop leaving aqua open he can shoot now bro i'm a certified i got the strap on me i'm not missing no more shots is he pull up for the third one in a row oh my third one in a row yes sir i'm low-key finally learning my jump shot and once I bring it to the one score, once I run this build to the one score, I really will never miss again because then I will learn my jump shot crazy. I will have all the jump shot timings down. But for now, I can't do that. And you see, first game, we ended up losing. Boss man, I'm not gonna lie, he ended up selling me, bro. He ended up missing like four open layups. So we lost the first game. But this is where the win streak started, okay? The win streak started right here. And you see, we're playing against two brown shirts, but they were fake brown shirts, okay? This is not part of my family, bro. They are fake brown shirts. I'm a real brown shirt. And you see, I'm hitting him with a Jamal Marie behind the back. Yes, sir, I got drill moves now. They gotta lock in because I got dribble moves now and it's really over another green light and I'm really starting to learn my jump shot bro I know I'm shooting I'm still not shooting the best I'm shooting 50% but I am definitely learning the jump shot and I can definitely make these shots probably four to five times I'm not gonna lie I can make these shots at a very consistent rate now and as you see game number two we literally whooped those brown shirts okay I was not gonna lie I'm not missing the shot I was not missing shots in that game we played against the brown shirts so yeah, let's go into game number three. As you see, they're sweats, bro. They're sweats. But luckily, this guy cannot shoot a mid-range. This guy actually is selling crazy. But I'm going to pull this. If I make that, I'm him. I'm him, bro. Right in his face. Doesn't matter, bro. A 66. No, I'm a 71 overall right now, actually. A 71 overall shooting like this. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Y'all need to lock in, bro. Because this is embarrassing for y'all. Y'all are going out bad, bro. Y'all are going out bad. Y'all losing to a 71 overall. This shit is crazy, bro. They cannot guard me, bro. It is crazy. But yeah, another green light for him. Send him packing, bro. Send him packing. Get off our court. And this guy has Mamba takeover, bro. I'm not letting him do nothing with Mamba. We were just getting this game. We were trolling. They got the ball back. They started cooking up. But I have to lock in here for game. Nah, let me hit my teammate. I, there's no way I was making that shot. I'm not going to lie. There's no way I was making that shot. Boss man. He's a little boy, bro. He's a little boy. Give it right back to boss man. Let him work, bro. Let him work. And if he needs to pass out, I'm greening that shot. You already know my body. Yeah, you see boss man. You don't need to pass out, bro. That boy is really like that. But yeah, now we're game number four or five. I started literally making every single shot. As you see by these stats right here, I'll pull these stats out. I was making every single shot. We won that game two to 16, and I shot four for five from the three. I was literally making every shot, and it just kept going, bro. It just kept going. I really did not miss any shots, and I got my field goal percentage probably way up from where it was yesterday because I actually learned my jump shot. I actually got some badges now. So I was greening my shots and I got some dribble moves so I could actually get open. It felt like a whole new player I was playing on. This 71 overall, playing like a 99. Look at that shot I just hit. I just hit it right in his grill, bro. And what did I shoot this game? I shot really good this game. I remember I shot like probably like six for seven. Yeah, six for seven from three. This was definitely my breakout game. And after day three, I ended up with a 75 win percentage. And day number four started off as a calm day. I used this day to grind a lot of my career in the sunset park whatever it is called you see first off let's go to the daily pick and let's collect our rewards i've got two out of four right so far two out of five and two out of six oh my 
three out of seven okay three out of seven i got 300 vc that's not bad hopefully we can pick these right for tomorrow's game so let's see thunder suns lakers nuggets cavaliers i got the 76ers warriors and these celtics i'm a celtics fan so if we win that we should get another thousand vc probably but once again i did use this day as a sunset literally just a grind day a sunset grind day and i found the new method bro the new method to get my max overall up so i don't have to grind for it when i'm in like the ones court one of my overalls maxed out so i don't get capped out the method is to throw lobs okay this is the most efficient and fastest way to get your level up and also get a lot of vc i'm averaging like 400 500 vc a game almost and i'm getting so much my points i'm getting like 12 to 15 000 my points a game this is definitely the best way to level up and i am so glad i found it and you see i don't throw lobs perfectly 100 percent of the time my pass accuracy is literally not even maxed out i don't even i haven't upgraded my pass accuracy once if that shows you how easy this is you can do this on any build bro you can do this on any build and this is by far the most efficient method because after this i ended up with so much vc but you will see that in day five i'm gonna upgrade my player i just took this day as a grind day i had a couple things to do today i have college i have all that so i took this day as a full grind day while i was in my classes you know i was guarding that park bro but yeah it's very simple all you do is you just call for a screen throw the lob you'll complete it 99 percent of the time and once you get takeover you can activate sharp takeover and just end the game because there is a cap to the alley-oops you can only throw like five alley-oops a game i'm pretty sure and then it'll cap out so you just shoot threes after you throw five alley-oops but it is very easy very efficient and the best method to gain vc and rep but i'm not going to abuse this whole time because i'll make a boring video so i just did it for the day but uh, look shut down we only had 13 points we shut it down and that's an easy 400 vc for literally scoring 13 points that game took literally two three minutes probably okay by far the best method and i have a full video on this on my page if y'all want to go check it out but look at this lob after lob after lob all you gotta do is recruit 5-0 in this lockdown guy i'm not sure what his name is but look you get like 300 400 vc a game it's very efficient definitely the best rep method out and i'm so glad that i found that out because we're gonna be a max overall in no time bro and look i'm even completing challenges i'm getting 3,000 vc for just literally trying to upgrade my player this is by far the best method and now on to day number six as you see i'm upgrading my acceleration and my speed we have 42,000 vc we've actually been grinding crazy all day so there we go speed and acceleration is upgraded so hopefully this build can strive on the one score now hopefully this build is ones ready so i'm bringing it to the one score and we're gonna see how good i do when you see first game i realize it's actually impossible to play the ones court without having stamina and gatorade boost okay so i need my extra gatorade boost before we go play any more ones game it was actually impossible where i was running out of stamina literally the first dribble i took i lost stamina bro and there we go i have my workout completed and i have my extra gatorade turbo boost so now hopefully we are ones ready and let's go this is basically my first game i'm gonna count this as my first ones game okay this is my actual first ones game i have stamina now so hopefully this game will be easy and it is losers out okay so that means if you make the shot you don't get the ball back i don't know why they keep adding this mode into the game this might actually be the worst ones mode i've ever seen this is actually horrible but we're gonna work through it bro you see pull up i'm missing my first shot man it's a rough morning bro it is a rough morning my shots were not falling i'm not sure why my shots weren't falling but they were not falling when i first hopped on bro i don't know what it was and i was actually playing straight sweats okay these guys were sweating so hard bro all these 70 i'm literally a 74 overall and these guys are playing against literally i'm straight playing against 99 overalls and these guys are trying look at this bro they're getting on board they're trying so hard to beat a 74 overall i never seen nothing like this bro but you see i'm pulling up and making my second shot that's a bang bro and this guy cannot guard me i'm not gonna lie this guy's actually getting cooked bro he's getting straight cooked leaving me open once again that's a bang bro trade ball fall bro we gotta guard up i'm not gonna lie this build is actually crazy bro i can't wait till it's maxed out i know this build's gonna be moving absolutely crazy it is actually like i'm not gonna lie i've been having fun on this build this is basically like my six foot eight demigod ones build for my main like account bro this build is absolutely crazy i already know once i get my driving up maxed out i would be catching clip after clip after clip and look i'm lt cancel on a 74 overall lt cancel on a 74 overall that is actually crazy he's getting straight cooked oh my god god bro he's getting straight cooked and as you see i have 19 points i see one more basket so we're gonna take it right to the rim get that guy off our court bro there's an easy game number one bro ggs we'll be seeing you bro we'll be seeing you but game number two this guy really wanted to expose me as well but luckily we have t-max build and no one is going to expose us because we are six foot eight yes you are not we're not little boys bro. you're not bodying us and yeah he's cold bro he's cold he's cold against a 74 overall that is actually embarrassing. I ain't never seen nothing like that. But we're taking our little L2 cancel once again. 
that we're taking right to the hole, bro. That's easy, bro. Y'all gotta play better defense than that. I know I'm a 74, but... And as I was saying, once I get all my attribute points up, all my attribute caps up, and I'm able to upgrade, like, my drive and dunk, I'm able to upgrade stuff like that, this build is absolutely gonna turn to the second level, bro. This build is gonna be straight a demigod, bro. A 94 drive and dunk we can get on this build. We are gonna get elite contact dunks. We're gonna be able to dunk over anyone, bro. Gold precision dunker gold posterizer we are literally gonna be catching bodies over every single person we play bro it is crazy but this game right here this was a rough game but we're getting them off the court that's easy bro easy get off my court bro and that's like three in a row now i think three in a row maybe i used to it was a close game 22 to 19 but i was shooting pretty good 10 for 12 and think about me i make usually all my shots on the one score bro. i usually make all my shots unless it's like a contested three i take with no time left i'm usually making all of my shots so hopefully my stats will increase i'm not gonna lie hopefully my stats will look really nice and they won't know bro my stats are actually looking really good for a 74 bro i have like a 81 percentage right now i think 81 percentage and you see game number five i'm actually shooting really good okay i'm making all my shots i'm usually shooting 70 percent every single game game number six once again this is where i really started to pop off bro i really stopped missing bro 22 out i see i just 22 out a guy losers out nine for 12 and four for five I was actually going crazy, bro. This is where I literally took my game to the next level. And look, game number seven or six. I'm not sure what we're on right now, but we we're just flying through these games where I literally did not lose a single one score game today. I'm not even joking. I did not lose a single one score game today. 10 for 11 and two for three. Yes, I am absolutely going crazy. I am locked in, bro. This build is absolutely crazy. They're leaving me open once again. I don't know why they're still leaving me open, bro. I literally is shooting crazy 85% win percentage right now. And we're only going up, okay? After this game, it was an 87 win percentage. And we ended the day off winning the NBA Finals for the second time. We won the NBA Finals for the second time. We're going crazy, bro. This is absolutely the best method to get VC. Just go to my career, play the NBA Finals, get all your endorsements. And look, we're winning NBA Finals MVP for a second straight year. So there's two my career seasons complete, probably 100 sunset park courts done, a lot of one score games played, and now we have so much VC. Look at 46,000 VC, bro. We are going to go crazy. So first off, we're going to upgrade our dunk. Hopefully we can get contact dunks, okay? We're going to upgrade our dunks so we can get contact dunks. We have an 89 driving dunk, and our vertical is going to be increased to a 78. So we are absolutely going to be jumping out of the stadium, but we're going to be going crazy. And day number seven started off amazing, bro. I brought this build once again to the ones court because no one wanted to play random wreck with me. I went into the random wreck. I waited for at least 30 minutes. No one wanted to play with me. I'm not sure why no one wanted to play with me. But I'm sad, bro. I'm sad because they don't want to play with the 79 overall. I'm really not that bad, bro. I'm really not that bad, bro. Just give me a shot, man. But I wish I could pick some people up for my chat. I wish I wasn't making this all in one video. I wish I could pick some of y'all up, bro. Because we, I, we would not lose the game in the random wreck. I'm telling you. We would literally not lose. If everyone knows what they're doing. Yeah, we probably will. We might lose one game against straight sweats. Glitching, you know, an all five squad glitching into the random score. But we'll probably be good, bro. I'm not going to lie. But this guy absolutely sucks. I'm not going to lie. This guy is horrible. So I'm just going to end this game fast, bro. Ain't nothing. He cannot guard me. This man is wearing a fox mask. I'm not really sure what this is. We might be playing a furry. But let's lock in anyways. Okay, I'm not discriminating, bro. I'm going to lock in. And we're going to get that right off our court fast, bro. Because this guy is scaring me. I'm not going to lie. What is that guy wearing, bro? That is the worst fit I've ever seen, bro. But look, LT cancel. Kevin Durant. I'm doing a little reverse layup. Reverse layups are so broken on this build. Especially when you're playing a smaller opponent. They literally cannot contest it, bro. If y'all didn't know that. They literally cannot contest reverse layups, reverse dunks. They cannot contest any of it, bro. And right here is where I started to feel confident using the dunk meter, bro. I started using the dunk meter cheese. That is, stay tuned, bro. Stay tuned because that's all I'm going to say, bro. Contact dunks are going to be coming soon, very, very soon. But this guy gave up, bro. I'm making people give up on a 79 overall. Got off my court, bro. Easy game. Nothing you can do about that, bro. Nothing you can do about that. Game number two of day number seven, it is. Yeah, first week. We're going crazy, bro. First week, we've gained literally 20 overalls, and it is only going up from here, bro. We're only getting better. We're going to finish this build by next week. I already know it. Next week, and we're going to finish this build. It's going to go by so fast, bro. But, like, he's leaving me open once again, bro. That's rule number one, bro. Never leave Aqua open. Rule number one, never leave Aqua open. Rule number two. You better not let me get to the basket because I'm contact dunk on you every single flag just like that, bro. And our first contact dunk right there. This build is almost at its full potential, basically. We are going crazy. So I decided to bring this build to the wreck after waiting for at least another 30 minutes in the random wreck because no one wants to play this 7-9 overall. We are here, bro. We are here. And luckily, I didn't get some brain dead teammates, bro. I missed this first shot in the first quarter. One minute into the game. I thought I wasn't going to get the ball the rest of the game. I did not think no one was going to pass me the ball. I didn't think anyone wanted to play with me. 
But look, they're still passing me the ball. I respect it. So I'm gonna give the ball out to my teammates. Okay, I gotta gain their trust back, bro. Because I missed that shot. I gotta gain their trust right back. You see, I'm getting an offensive board. Hey, putting it up with our standing dunk. Yes, we are six foot eight, so we can put those up easily. And we're getting boards. But let me let's hit the teammate right there. Let's hit the teammate. And that's a green, bro. Yes, sir. My team is absolutely going crazy. You see, I'm running the break. We have six points early in the first quarter. Six points in the first quarter on 79. And we're shooting 60% from the field. So we are absolutely going crazy. And my team is actually going crazy, bro. We are dominating these kids. 26 to 7 and 1. 31 to 14. Now we are going crazy, bro. But I'm missing that shot. I don't know why. But I just couldn't get used to the shot timing. And look, I just charged cheese that man like we're playing my team in 2017, bro. I still don't forget those days. I always remember my charge cheese. But with the second quarter ending, I drained a buzzer beater three. Yes, sir. I'm finally getting my timing back in the third quarter. Second half is really where I started to pick out my game, bro. You see another three off ball screen. I'm just running the off ball, getting screens, you know, hitting screens, running off ball and greening that shot. Look, another screen. I'm running off ball all the way around them. And that's a bang bro green light yes sir 15 points early with two minutes left these guys tried to make a comeback but trace and grady's build is too good bro they cannot guard the off ball screens they cannot guard the wraparounds so i'm doing that every single play i'm spamming that i'm not even joking i'm really spamming that but with 18 points two minutes left i'm taking my easy basket bro and these guys it was a good effort bro they tried to come back 63 to 69 we ended up taking that w in my first ever rec game on this trace and grady build I low key like the wreck, bro. Unless my teammates are brain dead, random wreck can be very frustrating sometimes. But I have some good teammates. I see the stats 20 points, 62% from the field, and 57% from the three. I'll take that as a very good first wreck game. In day number eight, I decided to upgrade my defense. Okay, so here we are. I'm upgrading my perimeter defense and my steel. So I will have a 74 perimeter defense and I will have a 60 steel. So we get interceptor and we now get challenger on bronze. You see, I'm an 82 overall, 37 KVC down the drain. But let's bring this build to the one score now. I got my defense upgraded. So hopefully this build will thrive in the one score. And if y'all haven't noticed yet, I am trying to upgrade stuff that costs the most VC. We are only like 100,000, 120,000 VC away. So this should actually not take that long. We could probably complete this this week. Hopefully in the next, hopefully by day 13 or 14, this series will be over. All we have to do is upgrade our finishing basically and our finishing costs a lot. But after that, we will literally have nothing left besides like a little bit of pass accuracy, stuff like that. Because finishing actually does cost a lot. Finishing is the most expensive stat to upgrade this year. I'm not, I'm not really sure why finishing is the most expensive stat, but finishing is so crazy to upgrade. It cost me like 150K just to upgrade my close shot, my diamond lip and my driving up max. It is absolutely crazy. And my three pointer cost me literally like 30k vc i don't know why my finishing is so important but yeah first game this build is absolutely crazy now it's not even maxed out but it's playing like it's maxed out bro it is actually a not good life i played this on my main build brought this to the stage i'll probably win every game but sadly we don't have enough vc for that we don't have enough vc to be wasted okay the stage the post scores i know i'm gonna get abused by post scores bro it's just gonna be simple like that there's all seven three post scores on xbox and they're just gonna cheese me all single game bro but yeah this build is absolutely crazy once again i'm not losing games as you'll see i'll show my one percentage after this i literally have not lost games i have a better record on this account than i do on my main account i'm not sure if the skill based matchmaking like i'm actually starting to think that there's skill based matchmaking because i am playing straight bots after bots after bots look at these guys are playing the worst defense you have ever seen. I'm playing straight bots after bots after bots. They could not make a shot. And this guy was actually probably my best opponent for the day. He had starter three. He was a starter three. He had Patty Mills base, but he just couldn't stop me because he was like 6'4", six, 6'3". Six, so I took it right to the basket. And it is an easy win. Once again, we are not missing. I'm really shooting crazy, bro. I'm actually shooting crazy. I'm shooting like 50% from three, 60% from the field. This build is so crazy bro and not even maxed out bro once this build is actually maxed out this will definitely be the best build in the game so if y'all don't know how to make mills and y'all want a good build just go and make this trace from grady template build this is probably the best ones build in the game but look at my stats right here this is after day number eight 30 games played in the park i don't know what to say 90 win percentage i shoot crazy on this build bro as you see most games played are on the one score i have been just grinding the one score and hopefully i'm gonna start grinding the one score all day bro so hopefully you see this number increase to like a hundred 150 bro i'm just gonna grind this park out the rest of the series until i get my 99 overall which hopefully should not take long because we're almost there we get all the expensive attributes out the way 
And now starting off with day 9, I figured the hustle was back in the theater, so I figured why not pick someone up and let's go play it. So the guy I picked up, I'm not really sure what his build is, but he can shoot, I know that for sure, so he can definitely shoot, he had like a 31 percentage, something like that. Um, once, I, once again, I said I'm playing realistically, so I picked up a random animal. What did I just throw, bro? I just bounced the ball off his noggin. If we lose like that, I swear to God, I'm off for the day. I'm off for that. No, I'm not off for the day, but I'm uh, going to be extremely tight if we lose like that. And these guys are actually comp, bro. They were purple. They were GOAT level MVP, whatever this called. They were GOAT status, and these boys were cooking us, bro. As you see, the score is 20 to 7. Yes, all because I threw the ball off a guy's noggin, bro. That man's fat ass noggin, bro. I threw it off his head. And we really lost like that. That man's not playing no defense. So game number one, it is not looking good for us. I am cooked, bro. We are cooked. It might be wraps. But game number two is looking a little more hopeful. I see green light. We're going up 3-0. And once again, bro, I'm shooting crazy on this build, bro. This Trace McGrady jumper is actually Chica, bro. I really don't miss any shots, bro. This Trace McGrady jumper is so good. If y'all do not know, Trace McGrady base is the best base in the game. And you can unlock it on this community build. Even if you don't meet the threshold, you know, the threshold to get it is like an 87 three-pointer or 87 merge. And look, oh my contact dunks. Oh my god, this build is crazy, bro. This build is actually carry its own weight now i can finally cook up i can finally iso on my own i remember when i started on this build i couldn't really do none of that but now we can carry with ease it is very easy now and look we're gonna green this through here because we have the best build in the game <laughs> once again bro this build is so crazy and this trace McGrady jumps out y'all need to equip it bro or make this community build this community build is actually crazy it is probably better than all of the other builds i'm not gonna lie this build is so good at doing everything i'm not gonna lie this build can absolutely do everything and right there let me green that shot off dribble don't matter bro let me get a bad gather animation it doesn't matter because i'm gonna green it and let me dunk me near this hey no nah, i'm not gonna dunk me near. i'm just gonna take easy secure two and we need one more basket for game i'm gonna just game it right here get my easy little dunk meter <laughs> hey there we go and a lot of people have been wondering my animation so i'm gonna be showing y'all my animations later on probably near the end of the video just to you know just to show y'all what this build can get because this build can get everything bro and when i say everything lebron james dunk package elite contact dogs this build can absolutely do everything but game number three right here i didn't play that many twos games bro because the hustle is just absolutely aids bro i'm not gonna lie. the hustle is so bad the 12 second shot clock is especially very hard on the two score but you see my teammate is wide open try about fall yes sir my boy is cooking up bro and once again i'm doing this realistically so i'm not picking up any people i know these are all literally just random people bro random people i'm picking up just to show you how long this would realistically take because a lot of the youtubers they are picking up once again the best of the best people okay so they are having a realistic timeline but i really think you can finish this in literally like 10 days if you play the game all day 10 12 hours a day you can easily finish it if i just played my career the whole time that would make a boring video but if i just literally just played my career the whole time i would finish this in literally a week bro not even more no more than seven days i would have finished this because you can get so much vc if you do the foul out method where you just like foul out till there you have five fouls and you play the last like two minutes of the quarter they sell you back into in the fourth so yeah if i did that i would probably be 90 out of run by now but that would not make for no good video bro i would literally have no content out of that and that would be the worst video y'all ever see but hey once again duck meter game three this is very easy and now we're on to day nine or ten what is it day nine or ten i'm not sure i lost count bro You'll see the slide before this on what saying what day it is and what overall. But we are getting overall up and we have a lot of VC, bro. So I decided to take my build to the record, okay? And day number 10 consumed me with a bunch of rec games. I realized that 5v5 was probably my best shot for the day as I was burnt out from playing the theater all day. Now we are on day 10 and nearing the end of this series. So I'm going to talk about all what I like about this build first off it's height bro this build's height is exceptionally good six foot eight you can play any single mode the ones mode you excel on the twos mode you can excel on the threes you can excel on and the fives you can excel on okay this build is so good six foot eights are definitely the best builds this year surprisingly two years in a row six foot eights have been the meta build no surprise there once again six foot eight is the craziest so good second off it's physicality slash weight i know i just talked about its height but it's physicality being six foot eight paired with the weight we get like a 65 strength or something so we can body people we will not get bodied by post scores this build is absolutely crazy everywhere exceptionally good and look it can do everything especially in the wreck look at what i'm doing and third off the shooting this build can shoot everywhere lights out once again we get trace mcgrady base stock so we do not have to like have an 87 mid range or an 87 three pointer so that saves us a lot of attribute caps give us a 94 drive and we can speed boost 85 ball handle. this is by far the best build in the game i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even trying to gas it bro this is actually the best build in the game the most fun build i've had all of 2k24 and lastly 
playmaker. Once again, we can playmaker with ease, bro. We get all the good pass styles. We get everything, bro. Basically, this build is just the all-around demigod build. I'm not even trying to gas it up crazy, say that I have the best build in the game. But 2K really did their thing by making this build. And this isn't actually a really fire build. So we're going to end day 10 off by upgrading these stats right here. And we are almost, bro, nearing the end of this. Okay, we are nearing the end of this. Once again, I told y'all all the vc right here these are I'm literally getting all the things that cost the most out of the way okay so like my defense my physicals those will literally only cost me like 20k we will finish that in literally one day i'm getting my finishing out the way right now so that i don't have to buy it you know later on and day number 11 started off as the usual i am spending all of my vc i see 44k and this is all going to my driving lamp there's a new devin booker lamp in the game and it is absolutely game breaking so i need that bro that is a must because that layup is actually game changing and i can hit so many glitchy shots but the first game of the day we are playing Aaliyah 2k and if y'all don't know who this is this person actually has a 2k logo so we are playing someone with a 2k logo this is literally the first time i've ever played someone with a 2k logo in 2k 24 and it is on my account where i'm literally only an 87 overall and as you see this girl is actually a straight sweat bro i was looking at her shot percentage she was like 60 percent from three and starting off early i'm getting right to the rim and i'm getting an easy two once again y'all know me with that dunk meter that dunk meter is so broken and i am the one bro i am literally a dunk cheese spammer bro i've been spamming that ever since it was added to the game in 2k 23 i've mastered the dunk meter and that's probably one of the biggest skill gaps that i have that helps me beat all of these people is my dunk meter bro my dunk meter no matter how small the bar is i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna time that bit nine out of ten times but look i'm making a tough acrobatic layup yes sir and we're getting the early lead but you see right here it is six to five she was coming back making shots but luckily i got the three pointer got open and i missed bro yes i missed my shot i am choking against the Aaliyah 2k with a 2k logo and thankfully thankfully she did not mean to do that she tried to quick stop but she got a fade away and i'm getting right to the rack once again i'm doing that little glitchy speed boost i you take it back no one has best that move so i'm gonna do that right there and i'm gonna do my jamal murray behind the back into the three-pointer that's a tray ball fall yes sir bro yes sir and this is looking like an easy win once again jamal murray again yes sir give me that bro and this build is so good and i'm just gonna give y'all a sneak peek right now next time you see me this build will basically be maxed out i will be bringing my build to the stage and i will be completing this 99 overall video we're at 87 right now but once again like i told y'all it is literally just all cheap stuff okay it costs like probably like 80 90k to complete that that is literally just one day of my career i could complete that easily broke all that vc but look we're taking down Aaliyah 2k 21 to 13 on an 87 overall build that i just made and after that win i just started to play the one court the whole day bro i'm not even joking the whole day i was just grinding the one court getting win after win after win after win and look i actually shot really good 10 for 14 one from two from three but yeah once again i did just play the one score all day i was grinding crazy getting my vc up and getting my max overall up i am now a 99 overall max overall so i can just fully upgrade the 99 overall without having to grind in the mic or anything like that after i took day 12 and 13 grinding my career in sunset park for 12 hours each day the final stretch of the video is here one more runs game and i will have achieved 99 overall i didn't want to bore you guys so i decided not to include the grinding portion all day of my career i don't want to hear anyone say i bought vc because it literally cost 100k to go from 87 to 99 overall and i was already getting 30 to 40k vc a game not even grinding my career all day but officially in 14 days i have achieved 60 to 99 overall no money spent now let's go right into this one game so i can hit 99 overall officially okay let's go into this one game as you see i'm playing a son's mascot so this guy actually might be comp we might be playing comp this is like losing on your rep up game i cannot lose on my rep up game that will ruin the whole thing that ruins literally everything bro i remember back in the day bro people like if you lose on legend that literally just loses everything bro that'd be like, actually the worst way to hit legend on a loss i would actually delete my account i'm not even joking but first play let's see if this man is cooking okay let's see if he can actually cook me oh my he's moving crazy i'm not gonna lie this man is actually moving crazy what the he is oh my he's too fast i cannot guard thank god he just missed bro thank god he just missed and he's afk why is he afk if you quit on my 99 game i swear to god i'm still hitting it i don't care i've been waiting two whole weeks playing non-stop all day bro y'all will see i'll show my hours after this i'm playing non-stop all day if he quits i'm i don't know what to say bro i'm literally quitting oh my he quit bro he quit he actually quit on my wrap up game this is gonna be the most boring game ever i'm just gonna reverse baseline cheese if y'all don't know reverse dunk drop step in the app player you get a point every play this is gonna be boring but i don't care bro y'all don't understand i've never played 2k this much religiously i've never played this much all day now you see get him off my court i've never played this game all day like this 
just to hit 90 overall it is actually really easy once you get past like 85 overall you know the my career method you get five fouls and then you literally just play the rest of the two minutes it's so easy you can get like 100k vc a day i'm not even joking but as you see 355 vc right there we now have enough vc to upgrade from 98 to 99 overall so let's go right out here and let's go upgrade my guy from 98 to 99 overall yes sir i've been waiting on this moment forever and as you see my defensive rebound i need one thing 455 vc hey bro let's go 99 overall let's go this build is actually gonna be so crazy and i want to shout out everyone who's still rocking me bro i upload banger videos every single day all 2k24 i'm uploading banger videos the best content and if you want to see me run this build to the comp stage now i'm 99 overall make sure to comment down below or if you want to see another 60 to 99 overall video i might make that video even longer but i don't want to make this video super long to bore you guys you know i just cut out all the marker and stuff once again but trust me look right here i am on like season five or six of my career if that doesn't show you how dedicated i was to the grind that i'm really dedicated bro i was grinding all day trust me i'm not lying i'm not scamming y'all bro i really grinded my career literally so long for this play part just to bring a banger video for y'all so i hope y'all really enjoyed this video because it was actually a really fun video to make but yeah once again if y'all do want me to play on this 99 overall build y'all know i gotta run some games in the comp stage comment like this video up run this video up i'm gonna show you how good and how full potential this build really is because it's absolutely crazy with that being said that is all for me this 2k made aqua this is officially been the tracy mcgrady demi god build.